Welcome to the Sage Business Works mini tutorial on setting up payroll deductions. This short presentation will show you how to set up payroll deductions, how to assign deductions to employees, and how to add deductions on time cards. Deductions are used for recording fringe benefits such as medical insurance, retirement or pension plan contributions, union dues, workers' compensation, or local taxes. Regular taxes such as state and federal withholding do not need to be set up. If you have a deduction that is partly an employee contribution and partly a company contribution, you must set it up as two separate deductions and assign both deduction IDs to the employee and maintain employees. A combination of up to 30 deductions and other pays can be assigned to an employee. Important. Be sure to consult the Internal Revenue Service or your tax advisor when you set up deductions. Many deductions have special requirements for how they appear on the W-2 form and these rules change frequently. Now let's start by setting up a deduction. The setup for deductions is found under the Payroll Modules Utility menu. I'm going to set up a deduction for health insurance. Each deduction is given an ID and description. The ID is important because it will appear on the check step, so it should be descriptive so the employee will understand what the deduction is for. I will use INSU for insurance, and in the description, I will put health insurance. The deduction method determines how the deduction is calculated. Select the drop-down arrow on the method list box to see the available methods. You have an option to set up a table. When a table method is selected, the table button becomes available to select. When you select table, a screen appears where you can enter different base amounts and rates to calculate deductions. For my deduction, I'm going to use fixed amount per pay period because the same amount will be deducted each pay period for this deduction. The category determines whether the deduction is withheld from the individual or is paid by the company, and whether it is the same or different amounts for everyone, i.e. individual or system. I am selecting individual because I want this to deduct from the employee's net pay. The next step is deciding what GL account to debit and or credit. If this is a system deduction, then the amount field is available to place the amount of the deduction. If there is a dollar limit for the deduction, enter in the limit, otherwise leave it blank. When you do enter a limit, you must specify what period the limit applies to. The deduction will stop calculating for the employee once the withheld amount exceeds the limit for the period you specified. For example, if you want a maximum of $100 to be deducted per pay period, you would enter 100 in the limit and select period in the per drop-down box. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I don't want to put a limit on this deduction. If you want the deduction to occur during a specific period, select from and enter the desired beginning and end dates. If you want the deduction to always occur, select always. The base exempt and per exempt fields are only used if a table method has been selected. On the right hand side, you select the taxability of the deduction. Each type of tax is listed. If the box is checked, the deduction is subject to tax. And if the box is left unchecked, the deduction is not subject to tax. For example, if you want the deduction to be taken out before taxes are calculated for the employee's payroll, you would uncheck the appropriate taxable boxes. Again, consult your tax advisor before choosing the taxability of your deduction. Also notice the tax category drop-down. This may be necessary if a local tax needs to be set up. If this is a workers' comp type of deduction, the workers' comp code drop-down box will be available. This is based on the method chosen above. If the deduction needs to appear on the W-2, select the W-2 button. 
The W-2 screen allows you to select if the retirement plan and or deferred compensation boxes in box 13 on the W-2 are checked. If the deduction amount should appear on the W-2, you can select the box number to use. Boxes 8, 10, 12, and 14 are available. See the W-2 instructions for the box number to use and for a list of valid codes for box 12. Select none if the deduction should not appear in a box on the W-2. The default is none. We recommend you run the W-2s to blank paper after posting a check with a deduction that changed. Most deduction changes are not recommended or when a new deduction or other pay is used. Check the printed W-2 to ensure the deduction appears in the correct W-2 box and that the taxable pays are correct. Important note, never change the taxable status of a deduction once checks have been posted using the deduction. Changing a deduction once it has been used can affect the taxable wages on the 941 and W-2. For example, suppose you had a health insurance deduction for the first part of the year that was set up to deduct after taxes. On April 1st, you implemented a Section 125 plan for the health insurance. If you deselect the taxable checkboxes on the existing deduction, the W-2 and 941 taxable wages would be incorrect. This is because BusinessWorks assumes that the health deduction amount was pre-tax for the entire year. To avoid reconciliation issues, always create a new deduction using the correct pre-tax designation and assign it to the employees instead of changing the taxable status on the original deduction. Then, inactivate the original deduction so it no longer withholds from the employee's pay. This way, you will have one deduction for the taxable health and one deduction for the pre-tax health insurance. After a deduction is set up, it will need to be added to the employees that need to use that deduction. From the Maintain Employees window, select the Deductions button. Then select the New Deduction from the list box. If the deduction was set up as individual or company individual, enter the rate for this employee and accept. I'm going to enter in $50.00. So it will take out $50 each pay period for this deduction. You can also inactivate a deduction so that it suspends the deduction for a period of time. One example of a deduction you might suspend could be a garnishment. Once you have set up your deductions, then assign them to employees, you are ready to use them. Let's look at time card entry. After selecting an employee ID, select the type of earnings. All of the earnings codes are available, including deductions that are set to variable entered on time card. Select the deduction under the earnings code. Here, I'll select deduction meals. Then enter the amount of the meals in the gross pay box. This will deduct $45 from the employee's pay. Even though the deduction is assigned to the employee and the deduction is active, the method for this deduction is variable entered on time card, so it will only take effect when the deduction is entered on a time card. When in time card entry, selecting the Deductions, Other Pays button brings up a list of deductions and other pays that are assigned to the employee. You are able to activate or inactivate deductions or other pays for the employee from this list. When a deduction or other pay is inactivated, it will not calculate during the automatic payroll calculation. You must reactivate any deduction or other pay for it to begin calculating on future check calculations for the employee. There is a maximum combination of 30 deductions and or other pays per employee that can print on a paycheck step.
Here is a payroll register report, which is similar to a check stub that shows the deductions and other pays assigned that were calculated on this paycheck. There are also reports available in the payroll module for deductions that will show everything from how each one is set up to period activity for the deductions. In this short presentation, we have shown you how to set up payroll deductions, how to assign deductions to employees, and how to add deductions on time cards. Thank you for viewing our mini tutorial on payroll deductions. Please visit our website again for other quick task presentations.